So, we have gone through the E100, the AMX, and now we're going through the E5. The score to beat is 4,400 damage <laughs> over three games. Um, as you can see, the E100 done the worst so far, but the AMX is also very, very good. So, yeah, I mean, you can't really take that away from it. Uh, but yeah, we've been playing the E5 and see how it goes. No gold, no food. Let's begin. Well, we are now on good old Malinovka. Oh, this team's very, very good. Nobody wants to push. Sick. Thank you so much, team. Oh, is this guy going to try and go up? Probably. It's kind of unreal that we don't spot him. Oh, wonderful. I'm going to go up to the house and see if I can uh, play here. Okay, actually, what I want to do is just go unspotted. I'm going to go forwards in a second. Because I want to know if this guy's in the bush. I don't know. I don't think he is. I mean, we definitely have one shot of damage so far. Too sure if that's a. Uh... Oh, that one went low. Um, I'm not too sure if that was the T100 that spotted us or not. What I should do is see if I can watch it go through the bush. I think that's a T. That's the um, the one. That's definitely the 140 that spotted us there. I'm kind of useless here. It's the problem. There we go. Picked up too far, we punish him for it. I have no idea what that guy is doing. I mean, we get an ammo rack, which is really nice, but like, what are you doing? What is this guy doing? <laughs> what is everyone doing in this game? Oh, beautiful shot. That was a risky move as well because uh, we could have easily got shot in the back as we were doing that. But it turned out okay. Nice. Straight into the cupola, very good. Problem is this. That's a hard shot to hit. Like hit, even with heat, like this is a hard shot to hit because that's the only thing that you can hit. Where are you going? I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what's happening in this game. Ah. That's a lot of enemies. I mean, luckily for us, the cupola is on the left side, so we're actually really nicely hold down here. The only thing that is going to be a problem is like the Prigetto if he pushes up here. But even then, we should be okay. We didn't even scratch them. Uh, not really too much I can do at the moment. 
Progetto. Progetto's right there, which is a problem. Okay. We should really just stay here and we should be okay. I'm gonna go back, see if I can spot that. No, can't spot that. Oh my god, please. Ah, oh, low rolled the T100. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, but I don't know what, what our team's doing. But, like, everyone's just camping at the very back of the map. Like, what are you meant to do when you have an IS-4 this far back? So we get 4.2 out of that. Very, very nice. Did we hit the Progetto? We actually did hit the Progetto once. Nice. So we definitely hit the 140 blind once, obviously. And we hit the Progetto blind. And then we also hit the T100 LT. Uh, but that one didn't come up in game, so yeah, it was just these two blind that we hit. But I mean, ugh, we what, what are you meant to do? Like seriously, when your team just camps, like I know. Look, there's a big scary two seven nine e in chieftain. Oh no, like uh, let me play against them. I don't care. Like I can't. You're automatically losing the game when you decide to not play the game. Anyway, we earn forty eight k credits. Let's go play another game. We are now on Outpost. Uh, I was kind of hoping that he was going to carry on going. Oh well. Um, the nice thing about this is that we can actually side scrape from this side uh, because the cupola is on the left, so that's really, really nice for us. But E5 is really, really good. I'm not going to lie, it's, it's probably one of my favorite tanks to play. It is super, super nice. It's just like a comfy kind of tank. You can learn to. So sorry. Um, you can learn to side scrape in it. Um, you can learn about hiding your weak spot. You know, obviously you can pull it with your gun block and stuff like that. Um, it, it's good. It's not super beginner friendly. It's more kind of that intermediate where you're, you know, the basics of the game, right? And now you're trying to learn a little bit more about it, um, and then you can go from there onwards to um, actually get better at the game. There is only two heavy tanks and they've both been spotted, so I'm thinking that there's no one else over here besides this Esconk. Because pretty much the entire enemy team has been spotted apart from the TDs. So... Yeah, the 277 is over the other side of the map as well. Okay, no one at the very back, which is good for us. Can now push forwards a little bit. Yep, we're still relatively okay. Lovely, we waited until he turned. We got lucky that it hit, but we aimed that well at least. This is, I think, so this s has gone all the way back. Okay. Hmm, this is annoying. It's three to six. I'm thinking about retreating. And I think that's the best thing to do. I'll tell this guy to fall back. And we can go back over here. If we go back over there, then we should be able to hold that a little bit better. 
I don't I don't think we're gonna win this, but at least from back here we should be able to one snipe with anyone in the middle. And two, just punish this Escon if he decides to push. Okay, the Escon's pushing. We should be able to win this. We can try and gun block as best as we can. Oh, well, we're not winning that. Unfortunately, we don't win this because that is a 2v1 and I can't go back far enough. Esconk is the main problem. Put one more in. He should be able to kill him now. I'm going to spam five here. Nice, he kills him. Very, very good. Now what I need to do is block this guy. Ah! I tried to uh, tried to save him as best as I could, but I wasn't good enough. He missed that one. I need to try and keep face hugging him. Gun block as best as I can. So. Kill that. Come, come, come. Come on. I would like one more shot of damage. Please. Thank you. Number 4.1. <laughs> Oh, brawling in this tank is so good. It's so good. Man, it's... Oh. I, I live for fights like that. I honestly live for fights like that. When it's, you know, a 1v1 and you just outplay them. And it was in a 2v1 we outplayed them. Unfortunately, I couldn't save the 50B. But I don't think even if we had saved the 50B that we would have won that game. <laughs> well, after... Two games, we have 4.1, nearly 4.2k, so we're just slightly behind the AMX. If we get a very good game in the next one, then we'll beat the AMX's DPG. So, let's just hope. Well, we're now on Overlord. So, let's go up to this position here and see what we can see. Uh, 277. Kind of going to be, a, that's actually going to be quite annoying to deal with. Uh... Yeah, no. We're not peeking this bit. We are going to have to see what we can do elsewhere. See if anyone's going to be poking this side in a second. I think we're going to have to be patient for a little bit. And then see how this battle is going to develop. And then from there we can actually make a uh, decision of what we're going to do. Well, let's see where this 277 has gone. Because that AMX just peaked and he didn't... He didn't see the 277, so I don't know whether or not he has moved, like over here or something. The problem is, there's a lot of tank destroyers, like more than I would want, and that is a big issue. 60 TP in the middle of the map as well. Why? 277's back. Hi, 277. Gorilla 15 on the beach. Okie dokie. I don't know how that penned. That is a very lucky shot. Oh, my secret YouTuber RNG coming into play there. Ah, yes. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot I had it. Okay. Ah. Very nice. Oh, well, that's all the... Uh, all the TD spotted. <laughs> Good one, mate. <laughs> well done.
Oh, I love bouncing off the lower plate. That is actually my favourite. Oh, you just stayed there. Oh, you actually... Oh, well. GG. Nothing we can do. Thinking about it now, I should have gone back, ignored the 60 TP. Hang on, let me get to my, my camera. Everything was spotted, right? The, all the TDs were spotted. So there was no way that I get shot in behind, I'm pretty sure. If there was, then this doesn't work. But if I had gone back and actually played around here, I could have then used the 277 as a shield and then played against the 60 TP. Um, yeah, I think I just made the wrong decision to go for the wrong person. I was kind of hoping that I could just track him up here and keep him tracked, but... Even then, the problem is that I keep him tracked up here, but then the 277 just farms me. So the right decision was actually to play with the 277, especially as he lost 1k hit points by doing a jump. Well, nothing really more to say. I, we spoke about everything that I kind of done wrong in that game. Like, considering we played so well in the last one against 1v2, uh, we should have played better, but it's fine. Uh, we still get more than E100, but not as much as the Amex, so... Yeah, I don't know. The E5 is solid, and it's really, really nice. I really do enjoy playing the E5. I enjoy playing all of these. Like, even without gold, it's, they're more than playable, right? Like, if you, if you think this isn't playable, I don't know what to tell you. Like, sure, I have a good crew, but then so should you. If you've got all the way up to tier 10, you should be moving the crew up as you go up in the tiers. So you should have a good crew as well. Like, by the time that you reach tier 10, your crew should be at least two or three skills. And that's all that you really need. Um, any more than that is just kind of down to personal preference of what you want from them. Um, but yeah, all three of these, solid vehicles, even without gold, even without food. Sure, when you're grinding tanks and you're playing stock, it's a nightmare, right? But then playing stock with anything is a nightmare, right? You could be... I've, I used food on Big Nuba and full gold on some tanks when it was completely stock and they're still awful. Like, it's... <laughs> Um, stock tanks are just, you know, a joke. Um, especially when you get the stock gun, where you can't do anything against them. But that's completely um, a different story. Um, that is this week's warm-up to uh, Season 7 of The Grind. That will be going on on Thursday for early access, so tomorrow. And Friday for publicly, for everyone else. So if you do want to catch The Grind when it comes out, it'll be on Friday, hopefully about 5pm. Uh, GMT and uh, yeah I'll see you all then make sure you leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm like and subscribe as always <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video